difference, successful business ventures. Again and again, the world is teeming with opportunities. And what sets this group apart is that we have this faith in the tremendous innovative talent, genius. The signs are all there. It's cashing in on that. And the world is looking at the Asia-Pacific region as the next growth area. I mean, yes. uh, you had Europe in the 1800s or earlier. You had the United States or the Americas. Now it's our time to shine. Now it's, yes, huh? in, in, a, in a global world, mm -hmm. the value of a brand is extremely important. Mm -hmm. See, Filipinos are already developing a brand for, let's say, our talent at nursing. Yes. You know? Our talent in, in, in medicine, our talent in the creative arts. Business processing. Business process outsourcing. Yeah. We're developing a global brand. Uh -huh. We want to increasingly develop a Philippine global brand where the Filipino and the Philippines is known for innovation. We can do it. That's what this movement is all about. Mm, I see. <laughs> well, um, how can we get more schools, more associations linked? to Filipino innovations? Well, I, I guess the best node is the internet website. Okay. The Philippine Innovation Ads website. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tap in and you have the contact uh, emails, phone numbers. Will you addresses. be having a nationwide uh, conference or events by region where they don't have to fly and <laughs> go to UP Techno Park to be physically involved? Are, are there plans in the offing for, or you have chapters already in Luzon besides Mindanao? You know, Dean, with the energy and excitement you bring, <laughs> your mm -hmm. reaction, mm -hmm. I'm sure that that will uh, disseminate among our members and I'm sure they're going to start no, thinking because, about uh, that. On your private <laughs> side of the first 32 that I read, yes. you have Ateneo de Manila, De La Salle Philippines that already has the network all over yes. and if we just begin to work with that initially, then we would have covered the whole uh, 17 regions I think we have. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. and, they're just waiting. <laughs> yeah. Another way, another uh, way to tap into it is uh -huh. uh, tune your antenna to specific IBM efforts, no IBM contributions, which are proven worldwide. My yeah, colleague uh, Lope de Ramal will shortly be sharing IBM's uh -huh. uh, how IBM translates innovation mm -hmm. to help build a smarter planet and smarter cities. Mm -hmm. Tremendously relevant to the Philippines, mm -hmm. no? And my colleague Iris Hester Tanchu will be sharing about the IBM Innovation Center, which is both a physical and a virtual center for Manifestation innovation. Manifestation yes. of, of, of your yes. movement. Uh, for our young audience, uh, mm -hmm. but because um, I grew up knowing IBM as Big Blue, can you share with them what did IBM stand for then and now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Since you're the government executive <laughs> of IBM. Yes. Yeah. Well, IBM is um, international business machines. We're uh, okay. commonly thought of as a multinational. Mm -hmm. now, nowadays, more and more, we pride ourselves in becoming um, a globally integrated enterprise. So okay. it's no longer just business machines. Yeah. You're very strong on human resource. Yeah. Yes, also. Uh, our uh -huh. fastest growth area is services. No? And then we Can have you talk about services? Because uh, when you talk services, normally it's food services or, uh, you know, yeah. what does IBM do in the Philippines? Well, if you look at the global economy, the global economy is increasingly turning into a knowledge, a services-led knowledge-based economy. In okay. other words, mm -hmm. the locus of economic wealth generation uh, as countries and as economies progress, uh, progresses from farming to industrial to knowledge-based services led. Okay, mm -hmm. U.S. economy, for example, over 90% of economic wealth is generated from services. One of our special specializations is innovation in services. Okay, okay. Um, how many of, uh, affiliated companies that IBM have or groups in terms of your um, total presence here in the Philippines? Uh, I think that's something Lope or Iris Lope, might be uh, <laughs> better, with, uh -huh. in a better position to answer, uh -huh. you know. Okay. Uh -huh. 
because I'm they're, uh, they're a little bit more on the business side. I, uh -huh. my, my field is more with government. Okay, yes. let's focus on that. <laughs> uh, in the past uh, months that you've been working with government, what is your wish list since we are at that point that we may have a new set of governance uh, personalities uh, by July 1st? What would you wish to have more in terms of cooperation from the government agencies you've been interfacing with? Wish away so that our <laughs> audience can make it happen if yeah. they're listening. <laughs> the potential of government to improve by applying best practices and innovation is tremendous. In other words, the, the application of innovation mm -hmm. will rapidly improve the quality of government service. To so the citizens. To the citizens. Uh -huh. That's what service example. innovation. Give That's us an example. That's what service innovation mm -hmm. is all about. Mm -hmm. um, the application of technology, for example, for uh, rapid processing of driver's licenses, that's a form of innovation. Now, mm -hmm. think about replicating that to uh, g public service on an archipelago of 7,000 exactly. islands. That's what I'm saying. That's uh -huh. what innovation is all about. Uh -huh. In other words, uh -huh. government uh -huh. employees can be proactive and come up with innovative ideas on how to serve the public better. That's also what innovation is all about. Mm -hmm. And that's why also we're so optimistic and why uh, government agencies are, are so passionate about their partnership with, with, with us. With Filipino innovation. Yes. No, because before, the stereotype is when you're in government, you're not supposed to be creative. You go by the rules, okay? Uh -huh. But Filipino innovations is going to seed a culture where people are allowed uh -huh. and encouraged to think out of the box. Yes, yes. yes? In fact, IBM published a report on uh -huh. 50 or so concrete examples of innovation in government. Can you share the top three? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, just type it out on uh, Google it. Ah, <laughs> you can there. pick it up on the you can uh -huh. pick it up on the internet. Uh -huh. Concrete examples of government uh -huh. agencies applying innovation uh -huh. first to answer challenges. Okay, that's one of the concrete business value mm -hmm. of innovation. Is it's a way to to answer challenges. Uh, to bring innovation to bear, to harness technology and best practices, to solve a problem, to meet a challenge, and serve the public better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, in my years as a trainer, I replaced that word P-R-O-B-L-E uh -huh. as a challenge or a situation uh, by being solution providers. I guess that's what innovative that is, what is, innovation no? is all about. you don't think of the problem you think of how to address the issue yes. or the situation yes. but it will take time and I'm glad that uh, Filipino innovation is there because normally our mentality or the way we've been raised the past so many generations is you focus on the problem mm -hmm. but see the moment you think of a problem it becomes more of a problem <laughs> okay <laughs> but if you take mm -hmm. it as a challenge and you try to find ways on how to address the issues yes. or come up with a solution, I call it now SP. You become a solution provider. But now, it's a solution innovator provider. Yes. You, you, uh, you are a born innovator. There's this, you, you know, you epitomize what uh -huh. Filipinos are. There's this tremendous innovative talent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that we know is there and what Philippine innovation is partly of the essence mm -hmm. is a concerted partnership mm -hmm. to unleash that talent. Well, Bud, we're coming <laughs> into the summer vacation time. Mm -hmm. If there's any way, if not this summer, maybe next summer, if IBM can build a structure where the youth, the young moms, the young parents who have time to spare during this hot summer season to innovate. Mm -hmm. If we just give them activities or uh, highways to really practice their innovative skills, yeah. then uh, I think we will have the ground swell sooner than you think. Sure. <laughs> so plug into Philippine Innovation from mm -hmm. the internet, mm -hmm. uh, link up with IBM or any of our partners. Go to your local bookstore. There's tons of books on innovation. Find out mm -hmm. why businesses regard innovation as the key mm -hmm. to business success. 
if why the, nation states regard it as the key to national competitiveness okay. and how you can practice it. Uh -huh. um, well, we're coming to the close of our uh, first segment, but it's been so wonderful. We're now going to show some videos. Uh, it's a five-minute video, ladies and gentlemen, to show you in video streaming form exactly what Bud Melchior has been talking about. So can we put it on now, please? For the first time in history, more than 50% of the people on the earth live in cities. How do civic leaders educate the young? keep their citizens safe and healthy, and attract and facilitate commerce. The city is a system of systems. The more we understand how those systems interact and share information, the better we can help the civic leaders to make decisions. It's really where these systems touch each other that we can discover new ways of improving our cities. In Rotterdam, it is important for us to know when heavy rainfall will occur. Uh, for example, to warn people to avoid certain roads, which most certainly will uh, get overflown when the rainfall comes. In a smart education system, uh, we can know how schools are performing and redeploy resources so that kids in lower performing schools have every opportunity to achieve at the same level that their peers are in high performing schools. Bringing energy efficient lighting solutions to the market can help cities to save money, but also free up resources resources and uh, means to reinvest in their future. One of the things we're trying to do is consolidate information about several events at the same time into a common command control center so you can determine where the best use of assets is. Information technology can help uh, a municipality like Parma to give better services to the citizen. Our goal and a mission is to uh, take people from A to B in the most comfortable, eff efficient way. Is this with the car? Okay, with the car. Is this with the train? With the train. In my city, patients can consult their doctor through the internet with web cameras on a very high quality level. These ideas are having a real impact today. And if we take smart ideas from one city and share them with another, then eventually all of our cities will become smarter. We can build a smarter planet, city by city. Well, Bud, uh, that was a wonderful video, and I hope our viewers were able to view it. If not, do go to Filipino Novators, Innovators dot com, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to say goodbye now, uh, Bud, because uh, in a while I'll be inviting your two other uh, comrades to join us to mm -hmm. talk about more about the technological aspects and the center at the Techno Park. So please uh, address uh, your wish list <laughs> to, uh, and say yeah. uh, until the next time to our GNN audience. Yeah. Uh, but it's been wonderful and thank you for coming. But would you like to say goodbye sure. to our audience? Well, Dean, thank you very much. And thank you above all for your infectious enthusiasm. <laughs> I hope the, your whole audience picks this up. Because uh -huh. we are optimistic about this country, about the Filipinos, about unleashing innovation, what that will do for business success, what that will do for personal fulfillment and national competitiveness. So thank you very much. We hope that in some way we've uh, informed. informed you and, uh -huh. and caused right. you to be enthusiastic about well, something. Well, <laughs> but we will uh, let our audience uh, send your uh, uh, inquiries if you want to link to Filipino Innovations. And I think uh, we have to thank our principal, Mr. Philip Chen, and Harry Tambuatko, our producer, and Ike Senieres, uh, for allowing us to guest you here, because they are innovators. Mr. Yes. Philip Chen, is a naturalized uh, Filipino, uh -huh. and his allowing Destiny Cable to have this GNN show really is a testimony to enable people like you who are after nation building. So until the next time, but, uh, but um, Godspeed in all that you do. Okay, we'll pause now for a station break, and I'll be back with our two other guests in a while. Thank you. Thank you again.